Hello everybody, my name is Melissa. I'm one of the educators here at OMSI and today I'm really excited to show you a really fun thing you can do at home. You can do some experiments and you can record all your information in a science lab book. Now what is a science lab book? It's just any kind of notebook you can find at your house and you're just gonna record some information in it. You're gonna basically go through the scientific theory. The scientific method is a bunch of steps and it basically helps you to go from an observation, collect some data, and then you're going to make a conclusion about your data. So today my experiment is, I wonder how many licks it takes to get to the center of my lollipop. Now I'm going to next do some research, so I'm gonna go online, and I find this really funny commercial about an owl that took the same experiment into his own hands. He took two big licks and then he bit into his lollipop. So my hypothesis, my scientific guess based on this research, is going to be, it's probably gonna take me more than that because I don't have a beak like an owl. So I'm gonna say it takes me 10 licks to get to the center of my lollipop. So this is the fun part. Now I get to do my experiment. So I'm gonna lick my lollipop and count how many times it takes to get to the center of it. It took me 100 licks to get to the center of my lollipop, way more than it did the owl. That Those are my data. Now I'm gonna make a conclusion about my data based on the research I did before. And I'm kind of thinking, yeah, that owl and I had a different definition of getting to the center of our lollipop. He had a beak as well that he bit into the lollipop and I did not. So yeah, it took me way longer, 96 more licks actually to be exact to get to the center of my lollipop. And that is my conclusion. So maybe in the future, if I were to recreate this experiment, maybe I'd have a better definition of how to get to the center of a lollipop. Maybe I would use a friend of mine instead of an owl to compare my results to. But all of this, I'm gonna write in my lab book so that when I'm done with this experiment, I can give this to somebody else and they can recreate my experiment over and over and over again, just like a scientist.